Oh shit. Guys, we found the push master. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a beauty. Oh. Holy shit, okay. Oh my god. It's four o'clock in the morning and uh, Laura and I we are super tired We've been working for three weeks straight without almost any time for ourselves, but um, It's finally happening We're on our way to the Amsterdam Airport for our very first Suriname expedition uh, It's gonna be an amazing trip We've been looking forward to this trip for years now because it has been delayed due to COVID and uh, we're finally making it happen. So uh, we're gonna meet up with our friends from uh, Unlock Nature and Herping Suriname, our friend Dick Locke. He's gonna be our local guide over in Suriname for the next two weeks. And I hope we're gonna find some cool stuff out there. So uh, I'm gonna keep you posted with the videos and uh, let's see what we can find. Maybe I'll see you guys on the flight. After a comfy flight, we landed in Suriname, the most forested country in the world. And after a short car ride, we met up with the rest of the team to set off on our adventure. Our goal for this trip is of course to find as many species of reptiles and amphibians as we possibly can and explore the vast jungles of Suriname. Immediately after our arrival, we got greeted by a wide variety of breathtaking species. Guys, look at this beautiful amphibian that we found here in a storm drain in our first lodge. This is the Suriname toad or the pipa pipa. Now this amphibian is adapted to living in the water. Now as you can see, it has a lot of different fringes, little things on the toes and on the, on the mouth. It actually is a tactile organ that it uses to sense its prey in the water has a really rough skin and the females actually have their eggs embedded into their skin and the young they pop out when they're fully metamorphosed. What a beautiful, amazing amphibian and we found it on the first night. Incredible. So we're at our first location here in the middle of this beautiful, beautiful primary rainforest. And uh, our main target for this location is a, uh, a gorgeous pink form of uh, Atelopus. So we're going to look for this harlequin toad here and hopefully we get lucky. So they apparently live around these uh, streams and in these forests over here. So let's hope that we can uh, we can find one. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna try. Rains in Suriname can be brutal and its effect on the roads are quite brutal as well. Without a decent 4x4 you won't get anywhere in this place. We had a flat tire on the way up. So one of the other 4x4s is now dragging our vehicle up on this monster of a road. It's insane. We're coming over. Holy shit. Run, what? Run! Scary shit, bro. 
Holy, holy shit. That is gonna be a gun. Yeah, it is. So after several hours of uh, driving on some of the craziest roads we've ever driven on, we finally reached the top here of uh, Brownsburg. And uh, it's amazing, it's pretty cool, it's pretty epic, look at this. You can hear the smoky jungle frogs in the back. Full of life, this place. I can't, can't wait to check it out. We are gonna be here for the next two full days three full nights so I'm hoping we're gonna find some cool stuff out in here it's gonna be amazing Emerald tree boa. Did it go higher? No.
That's a snake. Whoa. Wow. After exploring the wilds around Paramaribo, Brocopondo and Brownsburg, it was time to venture further into the country traveling on the mighty Suriname River. Guys, we're on the boat right now, looking for the largest snakes on the planet. We're looking for the green anacondas. We're actually now in prime habitat for them. And we're scouting the edges of the river in order to hope to see one on a log or on a rock basking. Now, uh, we hope we're gonna see one, but of course, you never know. It's a childhood dream of mine to see a huge anaconda in the wild, so we'll see what happens. It's amazing. It's moving. Tiny little anaconda. So the call out was for this beautiful neonate green anaconda. Now this thing is not a monster snake at all, but it will grow out to become one. If this is just like not even a year old. Beautiful, beautiful animal. We hope we're gonna see bigger ones than this, but this is already amazing. Seeing a wild green anaconda in this beautiful river. That's a gorgeous snake. Look at this. Amazing. What a beauty. You know, when they're younger, they have really beautiful patterns and it's going to make a nice picture subject. You know, these great big anacondas that are not that easy to take pictures of, but this one's going to do just fine. Amazing. Super happy with this. Guys, look at this. This is a beautiful male green anaconda. Now these guys, they are the largest snakes in the Neotropics, fully aquatic. And uh, this one was also on someone's property. As you can see, it's been through hell and back. It has a lot of big cuts on its body. Probably got attacked by a few machetes in its life. So uh, it's a good thing that this guy got taken out of the city and has moved here into this beautiful a piece of habitat here behind me 
So I'm going to just uh, not stress it out too much. It has been through a lot. So I'm just going to let it slide into the water. So follow me so we can see it getting on into its new slice of habitat. There it goes. Couscous, yeah. was just on the path when we were leaving the town and this is a big big rainbow boa Epicrates sangria now these animals they have the best iridescence in snake scales in the globe and what it actually is is that the scales they feel really smooth but on the top of the scales there's actually microscopic ridges that reflect the light they act as prisms and this causes the snake to have an iridescent rainbow shine and that's why they call them rainbow boas now this is definitely the biggest specimen we were actually expecting to find so we're super super happy we got this beautiful snake look at the lateral sides of this animal it has beautiful ocelli black and orange and the top is red with beautiful blotches and this beautiful rainbow shine epic Suriname provided us with a huge amount of species, over 120 herbs so far, but there was one major target that we were still missing. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Oh my god, look at that beauty! Oh shit! Oh shit! Guys, we found the bush monster! Oh my god! Oh, what a beauty! Oh my god, what a beauty! Oh. We just found the most incredible snake species of the Neotropics. This is Lachesis muta, the bush master. Now, as you can see, it's in a hunting position. The little branch sticking out in front of it, that's where it's actually waiting on little rodents to pass him. And when they get too close, he will strike out and he will catch them. And we've been looking out for the snake for the whole trip. But finding a Bushmaster is one of the hardest things you can do here in the Neotropics. So all of our hard work finally paid off. Now, the Latin name Lachesis muta is one of the coolest Latin names you can get in a snake. Lachesis means fate and muta means silent. So it actually translates to the silent fate. Now this animal right here, if it would tag any of us, it would kill us. It's an incredibly dangerous animal. But we're so, so happy we saw it here in Suriname. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. To end the journey as amazing as this one and by seeing the most legendary turtle on the planet digging a precious nest 
right in front of your very eyes? I guess not. And we're back on the on the tarmac. Back to go home. Lights ready to depart. We had an amazing, amazing expedition. 128 species of reptiles and amphibians. So happy we got to do this with our friends from Herping Suriname and Stichting Snake Patrol Suriname. Amazing. If you ever come to Suriname and if you ever want to do a private thing out herping or doing any kinds of expeditions, go with them. Herping Suriname, unlock wildlife, unlock nature. Amazing guys. I'm going to sign off. And I'm gonna go on my plane and I'll see you guys on the next one. Wow, what a trip. We'd like to thank all of our Herb Conservation members that joined us on this adventure and again our friends from Unlock Nature. Thank you so much for guiding us guys. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you on the next one.